Hey, morning everyone. We did it. We made it to the end of week 10. So this is week, uh, session five of week 10 of the Guildford City Fitness live stream. Make sure your warm-up area is clear. You're going to need all the room you need because we've got bean game as part of today's warm-up. It's front crawl theme, so we're going to get going with bent the iron cross and then Spider-Man lunge and rotate. So, arms out. Rock your knees to the side with your feet close. And then just let them go further away on each rep. Morning to you both from Zach. Morning. How are you doing today, Zach? Morning, Zach. Let's go around and rotate. So that's left leg forward, left arm forward, and then you rotate with the opposite arm. Morning from Danny and Sophia, from Edith and Nancy, and from Eleanor. Uh, you gave me more than three names. Danny and Sophia. Danny and Sophia, Eleanor, and... Edith and Nancy. Yeah. Morning from Divan. Oh, how are you doing, Mr. Fuller? Morning from Grace. I fell over in my run. Oh, are you okay? Oh, no. uh, morning from Tom. Morning from Charlie and the guinea pigs. Mr. Dudridge, Charlie and guinea pigs, banana and... Maple. Maple. Because they're sweet related, my brain went, it's maple. No, 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 no. Uh, Get okay, after Spider Man lunge and rotate, you then got leg swings and scat press. Morning from Kira, Lily Johnson, and Manon and Nugget. Kira? Kira. Lily Johnson. Lily Johnson, Manon, Manon and, Nugget. and Nugget. Yep. Morning, Jordan from Yash. How's it going, Yash? So, six in each position, keep your. Uh, your stance leg flat on the floor. Your stance foot, sorry. So you know whether you're getting that improvement in range from your hamstring relaxing. So I've been well with myself now. Hi from Robin and Jamie. How are you doing, Robin and Jamie? And morning from Maddie. Hey, Maddie. So now I can knee around up at my toes, kind of close to my eye line, without reaching through my lower back. Um, morning from Hannah. I'm back at school full time for Monday, so this might be my last live session for a little while. I'll have to do oh, it after yeah. school Jim instead. Works. I think we're gonna we'll, we'll have a, a chat about how that's gonna run, but equally, so that's the point of us to beat with them being on Facebook. So don't worry about that, Hannah. But thanks for letting us know, and you know, hopefully everyone's safe. The ones that do go back. And if you still want to put comments or anything on the videos, Jordan will still see it after. So. And li yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're watching it live, you still comment, say hi, ask questions, it's, it's completely fine, I'll ask them whatever time of day. And to Scat Press. Morning from Clelia in three days, it's my birthday. Ooh. Ooh. Exciting, so three days. Is that Monday or is that Sunday? Yeah, it's whether you count today or not. Yeah. Either way, Clelia, if you pick a... I'll do it on Monday. Yeah. I'll do it on Monday when we're fresh, but if you pick exercise, we'll do a, a bonus birthday exercise for you at the end of the video on Monday. And then IYTW. So face down, two seconds in each position. Today, I'm going to get you to change your hand position. So start with your hands facing down, turn your thumbs up so they're pointing at the ceiling, and then on the third one, have your palms facing the ceiling. Um, so number one. Morning from Pranath. How are you doing today, Pranath? Morning from Scarlett and Michael. And morning from Cara. Bean game! So that's time of the week. And then four vertical jumps to finish off the warm up. Uh, Clelia's birthday is on Sunday. It's on Sunday, okay. So on Monday then, Clelia. Just... Let's let me all see. And we'll do it for you. And happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, morning from Manon. How are you doing today, Manon? So I was thinking, you know the videos that are up on Facebook at the moment hmm. where it's got the coaches and things? How fun it would be to do one with like everyone doing a different thing. And how it all superimposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we'll look at that later. And bean game. Hands on the keyboards, ready to go. I'll get us going. Three, two, one, go. So I think we're officially going to bring rolling bean into the mix. So we've got a big bean, a rolling bean, 
Kira's the same, she's back at school next week, so she will do them after school. Run a bean. Broad bean. String bean. Jumping bean. Baked bean. Baked bean. Run a bean. Broad bean. Broad bean. String bean. Baked bean. Super bean. And then that'll finish the round. I forgot run a bean. Broad. Jump. String. Jelly. It was too quick and then jelly. Oh, I'm just gonna hack it. <laughs> Stop, a little rest. Um, and where was that comment? Demi joined in the bean gate. No, 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 I, I said yesterday if you could answer Two, Jordan's one. question in the comments yeah, and I'd join in. No one did, so I'm in my pajamas. Okay, so jumping bean, string bean, jumping bean. Broad bean, runner bean, and jelly bean, <sighs> baked <Bolita>. bean, <laughs> super bean. No, you've done, no, done, done that. Uh, never jelly bean. Uh oh. Do it as a match. Have you lost your rhythm? I have, yeah. Never had it. Okay, <laughs> jumping bean. Head, <laughs> Timmy, join in. No, not today. Uh, broad bean. Runner bean. Into jumping bean. String. Baked. Broad. I think I'm not cutting people off, am I? Uh, we've got... Relax. Are you doing another round? I'm not going to do two rounds. Okay. And then sorry for anyone that's still hitting their comments in. Uh, comment now, I'll do another. We'll do a couple more couple bonus ones. End of week bonus, what have you got? Uh, jelly bean. It's going to have to be a march because I've lost my rhythm. I've got, I'm presuming that's jelly bean, big bean. Baked bean? Maybe. Um, string bean. Baked bean. String bean. <coughs> And now you're the king bean. <laughs> uh, that's sacrilege against the bean gods, isn't it? No, they're gods, not kings. That's Wednesday session. You don't want to do that again. <laughs> straight on plank, hollow hold, V leg lower. So straight on plank, you go half and half on each side. And then we'll go from there. Everything else in coaches we go. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, go. I just got stuck in my head, you know, the Avengers with the Hulk, and he's like a puny god. <laughs> <laughs> puny bean. Yeah. <laughs> and then, switch sides. The idea of Tom Hiddleston saying, I am a bean. Yeah. <laughs> um, your sacrifices are complete. Ten more seconds of this. If anyone's feeling adventurous, try and go feet stacked on top of each other. And relax. We know star, star plaque. I almost said star bean there. Look what you've done to me. And then hollow hold. In two, one, go. So remember what we talked about. Go with the hard one. Go a couple of seconds on. A few seconds off. Do you spend more time practicing this one? You start building up strength instead of strength endurance. Um, oh, that's nice. Um, Pranath and his mum, I'm guessing, are wishing Clelia a happy birthday for Sunday. Oh, what have you got planned, Cl uh, Clelia? That's no. And stop. And then, oh my 
three today. In two, oh, be like lower. Two, one, go. All this beam stuff's good for a short-term memory loss. Two. It's the way of the beam controlling you. Oh. Yeah. Must be. So remember V's. You can turn it into W's if you want. So do your little V. And then do a normal leg lower in the middle. So make sure your lower back's always pushed into the ground. Last nine seconds. Look, why do you go? Look. I'll cover that in a sec. Relax. 20 off. And then you're back in the side plank. Do the wider you go, the more your hips are going to roll. So let that be what guides how your distance. If you go to the point where your hips start to roll over, just bring it in a little bit. Three, two, one, go. Straight arm plank. Make sure if you've got a zip on the cushion, you don't set yourself up right on top of it. Sorry for that, but... Okay, then swap sides. So if you were so inclined, you wanted to make it harder, you can set your feet on top of themselves again. Like that. Make sure you don't fall over. And then, it's not being like that, is it? Oh my gosh. You just did the V-Bone. Hold, hold, hold. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one, go. Oh, they're having a picnic. Oh, amazing. Oh, we were going to do that, weren't we? Yeah. <sighs> oh. Sort that. <sighs> so, build it up. Even if it's just five seconds, it's five seconds at a far more a complex position, much higher force demand, it's harder to hold. But if you keep practicing holding it, you'll adapt. You don't want to make all the easier ones just that much easier. Like if you just stick with the easy ones, you'll get better at those, but not the hard one. Relax. And then be like lower. In two, one, go. I'll show you what I mean by if I go too wide, my back will come up. If I go there, I can just about hold my back on the floor. <laughs> Make sure it's even. That's why you want to keep your hands on the floor as well, so you can push a bit to control Ooh. it but you're still going to strengthen your oblique muscles in the side of your trunk. <sighs> Last little bit. Flat stop. Flat 20 second rest and then let's end of part one. So I'm not going to look at the screen this time. We're going to do side planks. And then, oh my gosh, hollow hold, and then be your leg lower. Three, two, one, go. If you want to go star, make sure your wrist stays stacked. Push your foot to the floor. Just start off holding switch sides. You just hold your foot up. Don't raise it all the way into a star. You can use your arm for a bit of extra balance, but ultimately holding that up is gonna give you a lot more work done by your lower. But those muscles here and those muscles here. And relax. So then you're into hold and hold. In two, one, 
Go. If you want, if you off, and then as you get stronger again, you'll find that you can pull your shoulders higher up off the ground every time. So instead of being, we started off saying the hard one was this, so the shoulders are up a little bit compared to that. Breathe. So then you go a little bit longer. But even if you drop down just a tiny bit, you're still walking all the way through to make sure your lower back stays completely pressed flat to the floor. Relax so nothing can get between you and the ground. And then finish off part one with feet leg lower. In two. One, go. So if you start to find that you're struggling a bit to maintain that distance, just slow down the tempo. So a bit narrow, a little bit slower. Make sure that your distance, uh, your recovery distance stays about the same, so you don't cut anything off as long as you're controlling your lower back. So if you get to a point where you get tired, your legs start to come down, your back reaches up, just cut the range so you don't go all the way to the floor, relax. And then you get your one minute break. Well learned, everyone has a, a massive core set to start off Friday morning, so now you're on to lower body strength. <laughs> Including the, I tried them on Monday, the roller squats, so if you haven't got a uh, foam roller, just do, that was ah, not ah. Grab a chair, do your rear for elevated squats like you would normally. So for this one, all you need to do is figure out your distance for it. Just start on the ground, and stand up. So as long as you can stay tall. So let's go a bit further back to begin with. That's it's almost like your foot's going to be a bit further behind you with your toes on the roller. And we're going to start off with a wall sit in three, two, one, go. Sorry, I'm torn on. Mixed in between the demo and needing a drink. <laughs> My core is so painful. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier, does it, guys? But if you look at the best in the world, they've all got strong cores. So we're, we're just going to perpetually chase them. little bit with the wall sit two one go well that goes well so then roll the squat so you go half on each half on each side two one go so the point of the roller squat is you should be able to get a little bit more range compared to a rear foot elevated because your back leg's close to the floor Might find it harder to push up. And the switch sides. So you're just going to keep improving your ability to push from a crouch position. Left leg doesn't like it at all. Control the drop. And then relax. And split jump in three, two, one, go. The same thing, similar position, and then jump. So we're trying to achieve maximum jump height on every one. With or without arms, just be aware of which one you do. And try and get your movement time to be similar.
last little bit, 10 more seconds. And relax. So back into wall sit. Three, two, one, go. The only way to make this easier really is practice and lots of breathing. If we were on ball side, I'd probably do some sort of quiz as well. So we'd go 20, 20 seconds on, start asking questions. If you get it right, you get to stop. Or and then capital cities, that was always a good one. And relax. Actually, math questions. Math squad was obscenely good at answering math questions. I used to fire them out, not knowing the answer. And they would just rapid fire. Two, one, go. So again, make sure have the wall there for a bit of support if you need it at the start. Your start position is going to vary between people, so slightly so taller people like to go a bit further back. But as long as your bottom position, the roll is on your toes, and your back can stay straight as you squat down, and then switch sides, and you have to pause at the bottom. So the idea is that when you're here, All the work has to be done by your front leg. And then relax into split jumps. Two, one, go. Okay, think about the movement time. So I always prefer left foot forward and get off the ground faster. And my right foot. So you've just got to think a bit more about it. Imagine that start signal in your head. So take your marks. Yeah, up and off the floor. Some of you work a lot better to an external stimulus. So if there's someone in the room that can do that for you, that's some, that wasn't really in, but if you want to. Okay. One more. Okay. Full stop, relax. And it's something that I've seen from working at the club as well. The amount of times that I tell people to just explode doesn't quite make sense. Most people are conditioned to respond to a signal. So if that's what you need to get a good result, just ask or set something up. Even if you clap your own hands, it's enough to get you going. I mean, Demi's just jumped half out of a chair and she knew I was talking about it. So, three. <laughs> Two, one, go. And I know a lot of these kids can be explosive because I've seen them race each other. You wouldn't think it as soon as you make them pick teams and then run a relay. So the alternative to change this exercise, if you start to struggle, slowly let your feet slip away. So that would just change ever so slightly which part of your leg is working. Your quad, sorry. Let's start about here. Just feel it burn a little bit higher up. And relax. That's why the beauty of having socks on the carpet. The last thing you want to do is make sure, just trying to make sure you don't slip over. So roll the squat in two, one. Go. Oh. The toes on the roller. Move your front foot. There you go. It's a slow, controlled descent. And then push up. So my knee's getting a lot lower than it would do on a, a roof elevated squat. 
switch sides. Last few seconds. Stop. The other thing you're going to find is that you can improve your ankle range from doing that. Two, one, go. I'll set one off for you if you haven't got someone that can do it. So take your marks. If you start to blow out a little too much, you can just go for counter movements. Make sure you alternate. And relax. So that's it. Day five of week 10 in the books. So we're into the June part of the program next, next week. Today's challenge is all mobility based, so I'll cover a couple, some different bits to tide you over. Just to kind of revisit some of Ellen's points on the sports side of all mine and the examples that Ellen gave you. You know, to improve mobility, you've got to have a trade off with stability sometimes. So these exercises, so I was messing around with single leg squats, trying to see if you could do that without support. I have to lean a lot, my foot hits the floor. So having this, it's a stepping stone to be able to do a full single leg squat. So that's what we're building towards. Um, thank you so much for this great session. As always, this one was very tiring. But my sister hurt her foot, so she did as much as she could from Danny and Sophia. That's great to hear, Sophia. Well done. It's especially hard when you've got a niggle, when you've got something that stops you. To be motivated enough to still join in. That says a lot about your character. Well done. Um, well. Thank you guys so much from Medi. Thank you from Robin and Jamie. You're very welcome, guys. Have a great day. And switch legs. If you haven't. So I think on week one, I said that your aim is to cut, you know, paint the foam muscle. So assuming that you've got a little bit of experience with foam rolling now, you'll know what you need to work on most. But for me today, it's outside of quads. It's almost like stripping the muscle. So it's, it's a massage technique if you've ever been to get a sports massage where they'll just apply a bit of pressure and we'll work up in like firm strokes along the length of the fibers. So doing this with a foam roller, a lot of control, a lot of careful pressure. And then going to hamstring. Thank you, I'm gonna sit next week from Kira. Thank you so much from Grace. You're welcome Grace. Ooh. Have a good weekend Kira. Well this was a tough one, but we love it here. Thank you from Pranas. <laughs> How do you think so Pranas? And your jumps are already incredible. Thank you so much from Edith. Thank you so much, both of you. Very tiring, but so much fun. The beans are proud of your sacrifice, Jordan. See you Monday, Cara. <laughs> Thanks, Cara. Well, they're, they're just as proud of you as they are of me, that's for sure. Just uh, don't look like the rolling bean. I like rolling bean. Yeah. Like ro log rolls, something that we should definitely be practicing a bit more. You might as well put it into a game. It's because I did the amazing job with the caterpillar roll yesterday. You're like, right, that's it. More Abs of that. Absolutely. Just my muse. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's because I'm a thief. All, this, all these ways that I change and work things into athletic skills. So. Okay, well, I'll see you in that somewhere. Let's, let's take it. <laughs> uh, thank you both so much from B. You're welcome, B. Thank you for a great session, Demi and Jordan. Great start to the day from Clelia. I feel very tired now. <laughs> I'll bet. Enjoy your rest and enjoy your birthday. Double check. Uh, thanks Jordan and Demi for a great session, can't wait for the next one from the Nun and Nugget. I'm so sad to go back to online school next week but I love having half term. Is love half having, oh so um, Manon had half term. Oh, I completely lost track of when it's meant to be. Yeah. 
Thank you so much to you both for the great session from Dylan. You're welcome, Dylan. Enjoy your weekend, dude. And the, I've still got to go over the challenges. I mean, I've got some mobility based work today. Half an hour's worth. Go over this, message me, ask if you've got anything that seems to be niggling you that doesn't stop you training but is, you may be just aware of. Who's the plank king? Dylan. Dylan, yeah. Um, Dylan and Harry. How did you get Sweet on sides. with the um, alternative plank? Oh, yeah. The, I forgot like, which one did you go for? What did we go with? Side plank or the table hold? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feet off the floor. Ah. Or if you remember from Wednesday, we covered muscles in the side of your pelvis, so uh, side plank. Then just go side to side on top of it very sensitive and you can always test how well it's gotten on with this stretch here. And um, he did the one that Tegan did. Oh yeah, the, the prone hold. I got 2 minutes hold, 30 sorry. seconds. It's incredible oh. done. Was that streamlined or non streamlined? Two and a half minutes. That's so good. A lot of, so that... His core just must be made out of like iron. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. He's adamantium skeleton. Yeah. Um, last stretch. What's interesting is that that trunk test, so legs held and then face the ceiling, face the sides, face the floor. Yeah. That I've seen that on, it's like a pre screening test for trunk capacity that they use at the EIS quite a bit. So at one point or another, GB Gymnastics were measuring that and you had to do face the floor, face the ceiling, and then the sides. So I'm holding your leg like this. Switch sides with the lats, and the goal was two minutes. So as long as you could get to two minutes, that was oh. fine. So for Dylan to be doing that at his age, yeah. really impressive. I did a bit of streamline and a bit of normal. It's really good. It makes it so much harder you, when you think you've got, you've got this one, you think, okay, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. There's a face, a very specific face that goes alongside that. Okay, so bearing in mind a lot of the movement can be initiated by your shoulder on this. So just roll it around, make sure you're not rolling bone, that's the only thing to bear in mind. So you go a bit of lap, pull it down towards your feet, and then chest. So IYTW position, roll it between your shoulder and your armpit. And then if you don't get anything, of moving your arm around and pushing away from your opposite hand, trying to turn towards it. Because when you do that, you're putting a lot of body weight. So instead of pulling down, you haven't got a lot of leverage to pull onto. When you do that, there's a lot going through your chest there. The switch sides. And then just keep moving your arm around. So maybe that feels a bit comfortable. Moving your shoulder, you get something out of it. I tend to get more of that on my left side than my right. <laughs> so the right side I have to do a lot more of that with twisting. No particular reason why. Discomfort and pain are very, very subjective. It means different things to different people. So just work with your body. Don't worry about necessarily what I feel and what I go through. We're all different. But just ask questions about it so you can understand your own body better. Have I covered all the challenges? So 30 minutes on mobility today. Like I said, Swimming England YouTube channel, some great resources from some great coaches and aquatic athletes. Have a look at what they're up to. And then the support challenge for tomorrow. As many rounds as you can get in 10 minutes slash 8 minutes for county A and below age-wise. 8 double dead bugs, 100 meter run, 8 sit the stand. And then let us know how you get on. Because it's weird to think that we've only run this part of the program for a month, starting May. Or was it the... Yeah, it was about May. So we've 10 weeks in, and people have just gotten so much, so much stronger, which, considering the circumstances, is entirely down to their buy-in and their commitment. So we're all very proud of the work we've seen getting done. And it's... I'm getting all the thumbs up. Can you say? I just want to show you. <laughs> That's so cool. Really appreciate it, guys. That'll do for me. You can all enjoy your weekends. 
feel like I've missed something. I probably haven't. Nope, forget it. It probably wouldn't have been that important anyway. Enjoy your weekends. And have and a great then, birthday, Kylia. Happy birthday, Kylia. And then everyone else at Guildford City, I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.